Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here, Venus and Capricorn, today is your day, you know how we do it, it's all about the Venus sign in all of the zodiacs, I love to focus on abundance, and that is vast, okay, abundance, Woo! listen, we can be looking at your love, your relationships, your friendships, your wealth, your money, your career, your self-care, luxury, travel, whatever's going to get you closer to your abundance, so if you don't know your Venus sign, you want to go into the description box, Find the link that talks about your natal chart. You're going to go there. You're going to plug in your information. It's very short. It's just literally your birth date, your time. If you know your time, that's that's good. If you don't, that's okay too. Where you were born and plug in that information and it will tell you everything you need to know. Your sun sign, your moon sign, your Mercury, your Venus, Saturn, everything. So... Let's talk about what's going on for Valentine's Day. I'm finishing up this weekend with the signs regarding Valentine's Day because I want y'all to find out what's happening in your life. Who's coming for you? What's going on in the dating scene? If you're a couple, what's happening in your relationship? Are y'all going to be breaking up soon? Maybe. Maybe it's not breaking up. Maybe y'all are going to be deepening the connection. Maybe some of you want to have kids. So, so much going on for this Valentine's Day. All right, get comfy. Venus and Capricorn. Let's see what's happening with you. We're going to start with a life card. I want to know what's happening in your life, what you need to work on, what you need to fix, okay? So Venus and Capricorn, this is for everyone, okay? This is not just for singles or couples. Let's talk about everyone, please, Venus and Capricorn. I want one more card. Beautiful. All right. Ooh. All right. So... New opportunities are coming in. Ooh, let me tell you something. Okay, several things are coming up. Some of you who are in relationships or possible someone from the past, y'all could be starting over. Um, a lot of things are coming up for starting over. It could be business, it could be relationship. Just keep that in mind. Also, a lot of things are going to come to the surface soon. So closure from the past. A lot of things that you are questioning are going to come to the surface and you're going to get the answers that you were looking for. So it's like that clarity is going to come for you very soon. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So a lot of problems that you were having in the past. That door is going to close. Um, when I see birth as well, I know it can be kids, but I do feel in this case, because I'm going to end up showing you the card and some of you are going to be like, oh my God, is it kids? Um, I'm not getting the feeling of kids. I'm getting more the feeling of a birth of new relationships and business opportunities. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's move on and see what's happening with um, Venus sign of Capricorn singles. Let's start with you. What you need to learn and understand moving forward right now, especially for Valentine's Day. Have fun. Play. That's what you need to do. You need to get out there, have some fun, set work aside. Some of you have been working really hard. So you need just to have some laughter in your life. Go see your friends. Go and hang out. Go to a bar. Chill. Have fun. That's what you need to be doing right now. Oh, we got two cards out already and I've barely shuffled. All right. So that was your first card out. Right. Okay. Breaking free and taming the beast. So what's happening with the breaking free card, for those of you who are single, Venus and Capricorn singles, is that you are freeing yourself from this prison that you've been in, right? You're leaving behind a lot of stuff that didn't serve you. You're moving ahead. I feel like things are going to change right now within your life. Taming the Beast is about you making others feel like putty in your hands. So um, this is someone from your past, actually, who you know how to deal with them, funny enough. So they know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Yeah, this is someone from your past coming in, just so you know. But the Breaking Free card is you. You breaking free from this prison that you were in and moving ahead because things have changed a lot in your life. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like from here on out, things are going to be a lot smoother where your life is concerned, okay? So 
let's see who's coming towards you in terms of love what's coming in for venus in capricorn in terms of love especially for valentine's day yo you have somebody here that's stirring up some romantic feelings whoever comes to your mind is that person you know what Let's get a clarification card. So some of you have some new love coming in and some of you already have some love that stirred up feelings already inside of you. So let's get a clarification card on this new love that's coming in. Let's clarify the new love card, please, for Venus and Capricorn singles. This is someone that you knew before that had hurt you in some way. Um, three of swords and you also got the eight of swords so it kind of caused a lot of confusion for you and you felt like there was something that you couldn't do regarding the situation so also for those of you who are bringing in someone into your life I feel like you're going to end up attracting someone who's been through a heartbreak recently and they may be bringing in um, some conflicting energy for you that's what's coming up Let's go ahead and get a, cu a couple of more cards here because we've got the Three of Swords and the Eight of Swords. A lot of sword energy. A lot of sword energy. All right, what else does Venus and Capricorn singles need to learn and understand, please? You got the High Priestess. All right, so whoever this person is that's going to come in, just be aware that I don't think they're going to show you their hand up front. And if it's someone who's coming in from the past as well, just be aware they're going to be kind of mysterious. I feel like even if they reach out to you, there's going to be a little bit of secrecy in the way in which you're doing things. So they're kind of going to be like checking in to kind of see like what's going on with you. And if it's someone who's new, they're not going to show their hand up front you're gonna have to try and like pry and prod and ask questions and i think they might confuse you a bit because you may be like do they like me or not because i'm starting to feel like they don't all right this card just flipped up yes five of wands yeah so what's gonna happen is that it's there's gonna be some confusion like i said because you got the five of wands here and i feel like there might be some tension when you all meet or when you all have a discussion. And so I think that might be why it confuses you a bit. A little bit of ego coming up in some cases. Could be you, could be this other person. But definitely you're going to struggle with trying to figure out where this person is going in terms of a relationship. So like I said, you got the high priestess. And then you also have the five of wands. So... Um, let's get a few more cards here. I was looking for this deck. Yes. Let's see what else Venus and Capricorn needs to learn and understand regarding, I got cards flipping. All right. What else does Venus and Capricorn need to learn and understand moving forward, especially with whoever this is that's coming in right now. All right. So yeah, either when whoever this person is that comes, they're probably still going to have someone else that they're talking to the same time, or it's that they're not over an ex. And so there's still going to be some conflict with them. And I think that's also why things are going to be kind of up in the air with you. So just be aware of that five of swords right here showing you that there's going to be some conflict. All right, let's go ahead and switch gears and go straight into um, Venus and Capricorn couples. Where's the deck that I want? I have so many decks. Okay. <laughs> All right, Venus and Capricorn couples. What do you need to learn and understand right now? What's happening regarding your relationship? Let's get one more card, please. Beautiful. Okay. So we've got new perspective and slipped away. So I'm going to read this. So slipped away, though they never had you, to them, you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances that they didn't take. Okay. So what's going on in your relationship? I feel like there's a bit of a strain with the slipped away 
card. I don't know if this is someone who is in a really, hmm, I feel like this is somebody who's already in a marriage and there's like, I don't know if there's like some kind of separation or you're going through a separation because that's what I'm getting right now. But what's going to happen is that a new perspective is going to kind of come to you where you're going to realize that a lot of it had to do with your behavior or their behavior. So I feel like it's more them than anything. Like they were sabotaging the relationship, okay? This is not for everyone. I know not every Venus and Capricorn couple is going through a separation, but I'm just saying a lot of you right now are going to see things from a different perspective. So even if you are not breaking up, there's a possibility that you're going to view this relationship from a different perspective, okay? And that is the main thing that you need to take from this um, part of the reading is that for those of you who are in a strange relationship, you're going to end up, things are going to change, okay? I feel like this person is going to come back and have a conversation with you and they're going to realize that they were the issue, okay? So those are the first two cards out, all right? Let's go ahead and see. Sorry, let me show you them separately because sometimes the light can kind of mess up. And then new perspective, okay? So let's go ahead and see. What else Venus and Capricorn couples need to learn and understand regarding this relationship? And also for the new perspective too, what do they need to learn and understand? Let's get one more card, please. All right. So, yeah. So what's going to happen is there's such, like, y'all are kind of like not really on the same page right now. And what's happening is that some of you are thinking that maybe you should look elsewhere for other options and your partner is going to end up coming back and being like, no, I really want to work on this because I realized that I was the issue. So I feel like y'all may sit down and have a big, long discussion about what's happening, where you're going, what you want to do. And that's here with the two of pentacles, but also you have the justice card. So I feel like with the justice card, it's a little bit like, you know, when you and a partner break up and then you just stop messaging, stop calling and they miss the hell out of you. And then they come back. It's kind of like that car, that karma that kind of bites them in the ass. And they're like, oh, oh my God, I miss my partner. So that's what's going to happen is that they're going to end up missing you because you cut off the communication. And that is what made them realize that they couldn't live without you. You got the justice card. So it's going to end up balancing itself out. It's just it's going to take some time because with everything that's happening right now, um, your partner is viewing you differently. They're starting to see you from different angles. They're starting to understand what they, you know, like what you do for them. Again, not for everyone, but for those of you who are in relationships where everything is, is good, I'm actually seeing that um, changes in the relationship in terms of you all more so having like more open discussions about, you know, how you can do better in the relationship and like what more you can do to help the other person is what I'm seeing. But also some of you, some of you have been really stressed out, by the way, 10 of wands here. So burnt out, stressed out. Kind of feeling like oh my god can i even bother with this relationship so i feel that and i feel like this story is more so for those of you who have been like really feeling like the pressure of the relationship the failing relationship in particular and you know in particular in this reading but um with the queen of swords i feel like you're gonna come out on top because you're gonna not that you're not gonna waver but it's more like you knew that you were present in the relationship. You knew that you were there nurturing and helping your partner. And mind you, just as man or woman, so don't think that because I use the word nurturing, excuse me, don't think that because I'm using the word nurturing that it means it's a woman because there are a lot of men out there who are very nurturing too. But what I'm saying is that um, because you knew that you were there for your partner, it was like your partner was kind of pushing you away because they were self-sabotaging. So um, what's going to happen is that you're going to be the type of person, I feel like you're a very strong individual, again, man or woman, and you are more so 
Like, even though you're strong, like sometimes I think your partner feels like they, um, what's the word? Like, like they feel a bit intimidated by you and they don't need to be because they, they, they know that you're there for them. It's just that they feel intimidated because you are strong. Like you are just a very strong individual. But I do feel as though like y'all are going to be able to work things out. That's the overall energy that I'm getting from this. Let's get, let's see if there's anything being hidden from you right now. Venus and Capricorn couples. So yeah, so you do have a partner who's been like pretty much doing any and everything to take their mind off of you and the relationship. So they, because that's what's coming out right now is that they've been just focusing on work and just focusing on other stuff to kind of like forget you. And they, <laughs> I think they're just hurt because whatever conversation y'all had, I don't think they expected you to be like, okay, fine. Well, it is what it is kind of thing. And they were like, what? <laughs> it just kind of like took them by surprise. But anyway, all right, Venus in Capricorn couples. Let's get you one more card, what you need to learn and understand moving forward. Forgiveness. So that's the main thing you need to do right now is just to forgive your partner because you're on the right path. Um, you know that basically you pretty much come from a place of like um, love and forgiveness and you are the type of person that you will forgive your partner and you'll move on from that in terms of like the issues that y'all had before. So it's just really about you forgiving. If you're someone that you can't forgive, then this is the card that's saying you need to forgive. You need to remember that we all make mistakes, everyone's human, and that you can forgive your partner. Okay, all right, Venus in Capricorn, this is all I have for you. Don't forget, a lot of answers, a lot of clarity. Things are gonna come to the surface over the next few days for you in terms of love. So I wish you all the best. Magical Chronicles here. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. And I am open for readings. Let me know if you want one. Okay, bye.